So now I would like to welcome on uh, the stage our next speaker of the day. And uh, I would like to call on stage our honorable guest, Sri Jaya Vibhav, IAS, Chamundeshwari Electric City Supply Corporation Limited, CESC, Mysore, Karnatak. Everyone, with the round of applause, please welcome on stage Sri Jaya Vibhav Swami. Sri Jaya Vibhav Swami completed diploma in electronic and radio communication in 1985. He served for 20 years in Indian Air Force on radio communication, operation, maintenance, and emergency breakdown on ground station, especially in western and eastern sector of the country. Later on, he did PG diploma and also master's in personal management, MA in politic science, political science, PG diploma in labor laws and administrative laws, he completed UGC net in 1999. After serving in Indian Air Force, he served in various departments like legal as administrative service in court and also at the state police department too. During 2006, he joined Karnatak administrative service and served in various ads of the department's capacities for 15 years. After getting on to Indian Administrative Service in 2016, he is serving as MDCESC since more than two years. With his vast experience of more than 40 plus years, Sir has been instrumental in bringing down the AT and C losses of the company from 22% to 11%, distribution losses from 13% to 9.42%. In 2021, 2022, getting ISO certification implementation of QR code on bills, paperless office in the corporate office, extensive training and HRD activities to the personal and improving the various techno-commercial performances parameters of CESC and surging as leading DISCOM in the state. The company is recovering from legacy of losses more than 1,400 crores since five to six years to profit this year. Basically, he has vast domain knowledge on the communication network and also on HR management. Everyone, one more time with the round of applause, please welcome here Sri Jaya Vibhav Swami. Good morning to all of you. As you all know, yesterday, we basically discussed upon the challenges and today we are going to discuss more about how to overcome these challenges in the smart meter sector. But still, I would be discussing much about, before the start of uh, how do we face these challenges, I would like to give some perspective of the discoms. Uh, in the implementation of this, I mean to say what actually uh, the discoms are facing and what is there in their mind about the smart meter and what challenges we are surfacing uh, before we think of as to how practically we can implement. One is uh, each of the discom in the state is quite different in its geographical area, quite different in its uh, Techno-commercial activities. Uh, to say about if you would like to take the state of Karnataka with special reference to Karnataka, we have five discoms in the state. I am one of the discoms covering five districts. So far as uh, the decentralization of uh, the distribution sector, Karnataka is one of the best state having five companies so that uh, the work of distribution happens effectively and efficiently. But then, the challenges, I would now uh, concentrate only upon the implementation of the smart meter without looking into other aspects. The, out of these five districts what I have, 
two districts are with terrains and if we really aren't in these terrains i don't have much of industries industries could be hardly 3% commercial activities out of this 100% consumers pattern could be 5% or 7% agricultural activities is 50% another 30 or 40 percent are the consumers who are downtrodden and if you look at the high end consumers who are paying more than 5000 rupees in, the, in these two districts could be about 5 percent of 100 consumers the challenge what we are facing is to apart from other challenges i would tell other challenges later if we really want to implement in these districts definitely we would like to have a different strategy of implementing these repeater stations or other artificial intelligence for two way communication and also uh, the disconnection pattern in the remote villages and if you look at the consumption pattern of the customers domestic customers it is less than 40 units the bill cost of the bill if you see it is less than 2 dollars per month per capita consumption if you see per person consumption per month having an average of 4 to 5 family members if you see is 10 units and that category is subsidized i mean to say they pay 4 rupees up to 50 units Uh, there are different slabs fixed charge is 80 rupees per kilowatt so you will have only 1 kilowatt the cost of uh, energy what he pays is not more than 200 rupees that is 3 dollars or 4 dollars keeping that in mind if i have to implement it on the opex model i think i i need to pay about 70 or 80 rupees per month to the person who is managing it for 10 years and this cannot be implemented in the capex model if, if many people many i mean experts were telling yesterday that lastly the consumer is bearing this consumer is not going to bear the cost of this regulatory commissions are not going to allow this under the capex so if it is allowed under capital expenditure program it can be taken over to the billing cost can be put on the customers but it is not it has to be borne either by the government wholly or by the internal resources of the company or by improving the cash flow and making the profits with that profit he has to manage the show conventionally my discom if you could look at the performance in various uh, uh, booklets which have already been published by government of india we have brought down in the conventional method itself the atnc loss to 11% now it is 10.5 10.5 in the conventional method my distribution losses in the past 3 years we have reduced from 14.5 to 9.42 i think doing more than that is extremely difficult to bring it into international standard of 7% in a convention method may not be possible due to difficulties you know it on the field in the karnataka but then it could be definitely possible and workable for some states for example i take in delhi the atnc loss were 50% or 52% two years back am i right some people may know it and now in the year 2021 22 with their own artificial intelligence of scanning and uh, mean uh, 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 doing the bills they could reduce it to 20% so 30% they reduce it drastically within one one and a half year some officers may be instrumental to it and the annual performance uh, when it was reviewed on 9th of this month by the honorable power minister sir 
that is out of the 10 discoms who have drastically reduced the atnc losses in the country delhi rated first why one is of artificial intelligence second is there is no agriculture third is poor people are subsidized by the government up to 200 unit easily fourth is all commercial industrial and also the customers who are educated who will definitely pay where is the question of challenging the faces like my discom i go for a disconnection for the legacy dues our officers and our men will be tied up to the uh, i mean a tree that is a condition in the field with all that adversities bringing down to about 10.5 11% loss so was a challenge of course we have brought it down that's what uh, madam was telling that the losses of the company it uh, continued for seven eight years in the past and now of course when the report comes you will come to know first the first time after eight years we are surging towards the profit i believe so my officer should say now that is the reason i am engaging all my officers and team whenever such conferences happen they must know all discoms i, I if there are any discoms over here i request you to utilize these forums to tell the forum what actually the disc, oh, discom perspective of each of uh, such domains or such uh, Im, I mean implementations what is that we are going to face the problem say for example mine is uh, debt equity ratio is 1 is to 4 already due to the LPS rules that is and we want to clear we have cleared Chukta. if I want to go and implement this by taking loan no banks will come forward and it cannot be done in the capex and only REC will come, they are not going to see the, uh, what is that, uh, debt equity ratio. But I have to pay 10 to 11 percent. What is the amount we are going to, say, like, uh, incur every month for implementing 24 lakh meters right now? Metered consumption, I am telling you. Uh, IP sets are not metered. It is metered only at a feeder level and government pays subsidy. So we are not going to meter it. That apart, metered installations are 25 lakh. For that 25 lakh, I have to pay 80 rupees, for example, on an average 80 or 90 rupees per month. It is going to cost me about 25 crores per month and about 300 crores per annum for 10 years. The implementation is going to cost me 3,000 crores. I mean to say, to achieve this, I have to ensure that I am able to earn at least 30 crores more than what I am earning today by reducing further the losses. Second thing, is it really viable to implement it to the downtrodden people to whom I said in two districts, wherein half of that bill amount I have to pay only for this artificial intelligence, only for smart meter hiring. I mean, hiring means back end. Hard, hard, I mean hardware, software, maintenance, everything costs about 70-80 rupees. But then, it, you see, if I do the smart metering implementation, I cannot do it in a piecemeal. I have to do, fully. So, state of Karnataka has not yet accepted this uh, project for these challenges. And all the, all the discounts in our uh, Karnataka has, is having one or more similar problems. Problems means challenges. But it is need of the hour. I cannot do it in a piecemeal. So our first target, what I am thinking, it could be for other discoms also. I am asking other, uh, I mean, those who are in the field to think over it and then advise us while such discussions goes on. I am planning in my discom to implement it part apart. I mean to say, Firstly, I want to implement it only for the high-end users. High-end users means commercial, industrial and government establishments and the government installations like lift irrigation, that, this and all. They amount to about 25% of the total consumers. But the revenue what I generate from them is 70%. 65 to 70%. So I do not want to target another 75% uh, of the consumers right now, right now, to become a viable project for another 2-3 years 
till i gain the benefit and i improve my cash flow i improve my profits to the extent of 3 to 400 crores per annum extra so that i can manage the show of all other categories who are low end users low end user means we have uh, in a thumb rule assessed to be at below 5000 below 5000 above 5000 on an average my consumer base is 25% of the total consumers of 25 lakh so that is about 7 7 and 1/2 lakh with this 7 7 and 1/2 lakh i am able to manage 4000 crores turnover my total turnover of the company is 5500 crores why should i go for smart metering at this stage incurring about uh, say like uh, see i have to incur about 25 crores per ma- per month but if i partly do it now for the high end category my ca- cost is going to be 6 crores only per month so 6 crore means 70 uh, 80 crore mein ek saal ke liye i can manage the show in the beginning for first 2 3 years then in a phased manner looking at the success of this i can implement it to other categories also who are low end which is not going to ripe any benefit or revenue but it is need of the hour for the country if we want to in a real time assess the energy audit do the energy audit do all the readings then the smart meter is a must but then doing it immediately say like uh, uh, now the rds scheme it has it is announced that if we implement before 2023 december we get 25 i mean uh, 15% plus 50% of 15% up to 22 and a half percent but then afterwards it is 15% so i cannot comment on the government policy so by 2025 march it will end whether the industry is really competent enough to manufacture 25000 crore meters and implement it on or before march i want an assurance from the industries one industry says i can manufacture 20 20 lakh another industry says i can manufacture uh, 5 million 2 million 3 million but nobody is able to say as a whole yes we are able to do 25 crores meters before 25 march plus not merely the uh, manufacturing but at the back end again managing the show of ami all artificial intelligence software maintenance rendering awarding implementing commissioning then giving results should happen before 2025 we are ready but then subject to approval of the government but may not be possible for whole uh, i mean uh, consumer uh, base where the yielding is very very low and this may be the similar circumstance in other discoms also implementing in cities may not be difficult because you do not find a agriculture like i saw in indore it is fully implemented so i am i just want to visit uh, right now and uh, why is it not possible in indore it is possible you one should look at whether it is possible to do it in all the rural areas also in a cost effective manner cost effective manner means as i said it is not going to be in the capex either we have to now request the central government to at least grant little more percentage from 15 to 30 percent up to 2026 some speakers were telling that uh, this uh, i mean you can produce 25 crores by 2026 and the implementation test and time is up to 2026 no the government's mandate is to implement and commissioning to do it on or before 31st of march 2025 if i am not wrong if we if i want to get the subsidy before that then i should show with a proven result that yes it is commissioned it is working then only i will get it so that means to say at least 6 months before we have to complete so we all discoms are getting geared up and ready but then so far as if you ask my discom i would not be in a position to do it even if meters are available for whole sector that is what government is also telling we are seriously thinking how to go about it 
So on these lines, I request those who are uh, in the field of uh, smart metering who are today here, how are you going to face these challenges? Please meet all the discoms. Take the confidence of discoms. Who are now the, I mean, um, um, in the ground level, the foundation level? Who have to hire it? How are they going to manage the finance? Somebody may say, we'll give. Are they in a position to take and digest and then pay? They have to, I, I say like, uh, take the loan and implement, or they have to go for the OPEX model and pay to the concessioner every month. So if the concessioner will look at the profit, will look at the loan, what is borrowing, loan repayment, all those things, then manpower for 10 years. With all that, they will fix the cost. So it is really a challenge. But we need to break this challenge. We need to do. It is the uh, objective of the, I mean, goal and objective of the, uh, government as a whole and we must do it but then i need support of uh, those who are in this field to really think about this very seriously firstly attacking on the states which have a very high atnc loss is easy and it must be done what about a, what about a discom like me who have brought down to 10.5 atnc loss look at the res results you can re look at the various uh, I mean, uh, in Yata Kalikas or magazines, you may see. How I am going to face this challenge? If I can reduce about 5% or 6% by implementing the smart meter, I will start gaining. I can pay. In the conventional method, if I already brought down, where is the returns going to be for, the, uh, um, for me to repay back for the smart meters? That is a great challenge which is now um, in, uh, hovering around in my mind. And I request all those I mean, manufacturers and also software companies who have come to visit some of the dis discoms, say like discoms which are having very high ATNC loss and with discoms which are having very low ATNC loss and middle also and understand what actually is in the field. How, that is why now every state is now thinking how, how to do it. They are not able to take a decision fully. Only three states have come forward fully and then tendered. Other states have given approval but then not yet tendered in the process it is on. It is really a challenge for us. Our state has not yet given the approval. Though we moved it to the cabinet, we are struggling because this is required. Then we have said how to, like as what I said, High-end categories, we must want to, do, want to do it immediately and then do it for other end categories by looking at the performance immediately in the next two, three years so that I can stretch up on the uh, load, commercial uh, and financial load which is going to be on my company. With this, I wish to introspect ourselves and then tell us the solutions or various opportunities, various I mean, uh, scopes and solutions. How do we meet out this? And what is the, and various alternatives for the discoms, so that they will choose the best. So I request you, while the remedies which are going to be spoken out now for the software, hardware, and everything, to look at this perspective and also guide us as a discom, which could be better. Thank you very much.